Hi everyone, we have been talking a lot of things about data, getting insights, site search insights, this, that, whole bunch of things. But a lot of people will think, I don't have that setup, I don't have this setup, I don't have UTM tags. So my data is not complete, so I can't get insights. But that's not how it's going to work. You can still get good insights from incomplete data. Let's see how. The key is in understanding if you are trying to make your data very accurate or are you trying to make data very precise. So what is the difference between being accurate and being precise? What is it? Think for a second maybe. What is it? So being accurate means being able to hit 10 all the time. You hit 10 all the time, right on the dot, right? But see, even on 10, you can be hitting here, 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 you know, different places. You are still on 10, but it's not on the same place. But being precise means you hit the same spot over and over and over again. What do you guys think is more important? Is hitting 10 in um, maybe not exactly the same place more important or hitting even 8? But exactly the same place over and over again more important. It's the second one. It's the second one. Why? Because for an insight to be true, you have to be able to do it over and over again and should be able to get the same result. Right? That's why data needs to be precise. Let's look at a very interesting case study. So a country who wanted to go digital with their ID numbers tried collect, get, gathering information to create these digital ID cards. So what happened was they go to the village and they ask the people, what's your name? They say, my name is um, Shumon. So what's your surname? No, I, I don't know. And so you write some random surname. And then you ask your age. They're like, I don't know when I was born. You know, I don't know how old I am. How am I supposed to know? They don't have a birth certificate. So how are you going to do this? You just have to look at him and put a date. The thing is, if you do this for all of the people, all of the citizens, by some means, if you actually put an ID number and give them some information, the thing is, when you are doing sensors or when you are doing this, that, data will be precise. Do you get it? It's not going to be 100% accurate. We know that. But trying to solve for 100% accuracy is not going to help you. Solving for precision helps you. So data might not be complete, but still you can know how many people are voting, how many people are between this age, how many people are getting jobs, how many people are working in a, in a, in a building. You can get to know all of these things, right? Why? Because you are going to be precise. So data works in the same way. Offline data, online data, whatever data works in the same way. So don't be disheartened by not having complete data. Try with what you have. That's it.